And I think what Peter is about to do is also something that you might find yourself needing to do as well in the future. So it will be worthwhile. Okay. And um, um, I'm good. Okay. <sighs> so, here, do me a favor and go back to the design right and um, just hit home so we can reset and just so that we're going to regroup for people who are just joining in. Um, what you've done here is you went to week, um, what's the exercise that we're working on? I think it's in week six. I keep losing it. Pardon? I keep losing it. Oh, um, oh I'm s yeah. So this is still coming, okay? Mm -hmm. this is like still in development. And what I did, if you click on home again, um, and under new with design right, it says workshop 24 February 9 a.m. And there's yeah, go ahead and click on that. And there's a link there to this Dropbox. And Kira's gone ahead and made a copy of this herself. Made a copy of the spreadsheet. So you can go back and look at the video from from this morning that will show you how to do all those steps. Okay, so we're a couple of steps in what she's already done. Okay, um, so we're kind of joining this in progress, but I'm gonna give you, while you're here, I'll give you a quick tour. Um, so you click on tagged object 1060, and you can surf around this. Um, so this is an object that's tagged with, um, this particular one is tagged to at home dancing Hindu. Um, the pictures have no relationship to the actual objects themselves, that's just made up stuff, which I shouldn't have done because it will confuse people. Um, and it showed you how you, we were just talking about this in the conversation with Jeremy a few minutes ago. Um, it shows you how you move forwards and backwards before and after in a list. So this particular object, tag 1060, shows a Hindu dancing at home, and the next object in the Hindu list, I'm sorry, the previous object in the Hindu list is object 1055, okay, so that, if you think, if you look at all the tiddlers that, and go up and scroll up, look at all the tiddlers that are tagged with Hindu, um, you can just pick any object, 1060 is good, yep, and right there, click, right, um, click on open up the Hindu tag, and scroll down to 1060, and you see the one that's previous to it is 1055, and the one that's after it is 1070. Okay, so what we've done is we've written code that lets you navigate up and down that list mm -hmm. with before and after. Okay, so now we're gonna so now move into your spreadsheet, and we're gonna see if we can make this work. So she's made her own copy. We haven't made any changes, and now you want to do a. Um, and you're in Chrome again. And we set, show, show us how we set your preferences in Chrome. Um, this is a really important part of Chrome. And um, you have to go to settings. And I think in Chrome it's advanced. In Firefox it's in the basic. And you basically want to set up your um, browser so that it asks you where to save files. I think it's all the way on the bottom under advanced. And then you want to Always ask where to save a file before downloading. That'll make your life better. Um, so click on your K copy and do file export as download as CSV. And you want to navigate to your Dropbox. I'm not sure where my Dropbox is. Your Dropbox disappeared. How can your Dropbox have disappeared? Did you sign out of Dropbox? I am signed out. Yeah. Hmm? I'm signed out. You're signed in? Out. You're signed out of Dropbox. Well, this won't work at all then. Okay. But that's all right. You don't have to. Okay. So for now, I would ask you to put it in your Dropbox. But for now, just put it on your desktop and give it a name that's called Object Tiddlers with those spaces. And it should name it automatically as CSV, so hit save. Um, we just saved that on your desktop. So now you go back to the CSV to JSON converter tool, which you happen to have open. And there's links to this. And you want to select your input file. 
This has nothing to do with anything that we're doing, it's just how we're doing it. Um, I think you call them object titlers and put them on your Dropbox. There it is. And open. Okay, so that that's what they look like. Scroll down. And keep going to step five. And click CSV to JSON, the first button. And I'm just not liking that. Oh well. It should have named the fields. Okay, we'll be able to and download the result and save it, give it another called object tiddlers again. You don't need the CSV. And it will automatically name it JSON, so hit save. Oh, that looks good. Now go back to your Tiddly Wiki, your multi sequential narrative, and click on the paper clip. Oh, I'm sorry, wait a second. You made your own copy, right? And then I lost it. You lost it? Okay. Um, so then we're going to, we do need to start over. So close this. Um, go to home on multi sequential narrative. Um, implement. Yep, download and empty. Click on empty. Save it. Probably have it in my notes. Probably. So you want to save this? You just download it again, so let's save it. Put it on your desktop, give it a name. That's good. Multi sequential tiddly is good. Um, open multi sequential tiddly. Um, that's like empty. Where's your multi sequential tiddly, the one you just created? Your file open. There we go. Multi sequence tiddly. Yep, okay. And now you can, um, you have to drag some things in. So you can go to, there you go. Yep, okay. Drag those over. And those are the steps that we repeated. You have to import those. That's good. Save it. Looks good. Click hello there. Okay, we're all. I think good. she's doing this in Chrome. Hmm? She's she doing fine. this in Firefox. It, just works. Yeah. it works. You just have to save the menu. Yeah. And then you want to do the, um, we're all ready to do the documentation, which is on the bottom. The link to documentation on the bottom. Yep, that works. Either way, same thing. And we are on step one. We did step one. We did step two. We're on step three. Import as JSON file. So let's click the import tool. If you, yeah. Yep. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm so excited that it might work. Objectitlers.json and open. And um, it didn't work. Huh, so click import, it won't work. I'll try it? Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, and this was frustratingly working yesterday perfectly well. It might be a Chrome Firefox issue. Try Firefox. Don't have it. Uh, you Firefox? Yeah. Share your screen. You'll do it. Um, while James is getting set up, Alyssa, you want to uh -huh. share your screen and ask your questions? 
Um, right now, I'm in the process of installing a plugin for the Appear widget. Okay, so why don't you share your screen? Okay, I got to figure out how to do that. Um, Sorry, Kira. Let's see. Okay, share screen. Might be Firefox. There we go. You really did not have that Dropbox? No, Chrome is misinterpreting the JSON somehow. It's just not seeing it. Okay. Okay, so um, what are you running here? What browser? Okay, so right now I am in um, Firefox. Okay, and what operating system? Windows or Mac? Windows. Okay, so do you know how to, uh, I think it's called like window shade or something like that, to divide your screen in half so you can have two different windows visible? Um, no, I don't, I don't know how to do that. Do you have Windows, James? No. Um, so... Um, I gotta take these out. So move your autobiography mm -hmm. into a new window. I think you control tab, control on the control click on the tab and put it in its own window. Yep. Okay. I'm now. I'm not sure where you are and what you're doing. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, so I think when you shared your screen, you shared an app, not the window. So stop sharing your screen and go and reshare the app. Or when you stop sharing your screen and do a screen share again. Yeah. And select that. Are you on you have multiple screens or just one? Okay, I'm going to go back and try to um, fix that here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, sure, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now I'm in sharing desktop. Okay. Good. Move yeah. my autobiography to its own like separate window. Yeah. We want to put them side by side so we can see them both at the same time. Um. And you can minimize those video windows. Video windows. Your your video windows, or are they, those are mine, sorry. That was me, not you. Okay. There, yeah, okay. Now can you set it so that we can see your autobiography next to, we can see two windows simultaneously? There you go. And there's a way to do this in Windows that just puts them exactly next to each other perfectly. It's built into the operating system. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, what it's called. Okay, so you want my autobiography next to what other window? Just any window right now. Okay. So you got it. Just make it a little bigger so that they're not overlapping so we can actually see all of both windows. It's good. That's that's good. Okay. Okay. Um, that's fine. And you were. I'm in the process of installing a plugin, the Appear plugin, so I could do the translucents for my exercise. Yep. So, um, so in my design, right? So on your right window, yep. You should be able to separate them so that you can so that you can see them both and they don't move around. Um. Yeah. We yeah we need to we need to see them. Okay, that's fine. I know. I kind of toggle like in between them both because my screen isn't big. I really need two computer screens, really. But well, you can set them up so they're side by side, and they'll be a lot mm -hmm. easier to work with. And it's like I said, it's a feature in Windows. And probably if you right click in that tab bar, it will say window shade to the left or something like that. Um, I think if you right click on the desktop and do a cascade maybe of the it's Windows. Right click on the desktop. Um, um, view, go up to view, 
Mm-hmm. Um, that's not it. Okay, we're, we're not going to spend time on that. It's something else. Um, so you've got it. It's good enough right now. Um, so scroll down a little bit. In... There. Okay, stop. You see the list of the appear tiddler? It shows up on the open list. Yep. Just linger your mouse. Don't click. Just linger your mouse over the word appear in the open list. Right uh-huh. there. Okay. Now click that and drag it to the window on the left. Okay. Ooh. There you go. Let go. Okay, you got it. Now click import. Okay, so you've got it. Now you can click on appear. Mm-hmm. And that works well. Okay. Um, if you go back to my design, right? Yeah. Um, and search for a peer. I can't remember what I did there. So click the appear, click the appear, the second one. The second one? Yeah. Or, yeah, let's see what that, the first one looks, yeah, that. Okay. Okay. So, um. So if you wanted those, you could drag those over as well. Mm-hmm. Those tiddlers, one by one. Okay, I see what you're. Yep. Yep, that's good. It's as soon as the green lights, you don't. Yeah, you can drag a bunch in and put them all. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. And you've already got the code. Yep. Okay. So we'll work them up. Okay. Now let's make your let's like make this full screen. There you go. Okay. So um, close a bunch of tiddlers. And so let me look. Edit this tiddler for a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. Before you edit it. What's your logic, what's your desire there showing in this exercise? Okay, so what I've done is I've organized my autobiography into my future, my past, present, and future using a new here, um, using this. Yep. And then from E3, um, there's like a story, like the one that, that I've made the most I started with this one. So I have like a list um, of everything that's tagged with my future. And then, um, so say this one. Um, And I I still have to add more comments, but the only thing that's like missing is just the translusions I have to add. Okay, but uh, but I have a question for you. I'm interested Mm -hmm. in... What's your what what is special about the text in this exercise I will show? Why is that why do you have that commented? What's special about the text or what's yeah. why do you have it commented out? Right, so edit the tiddler overview. hmm And you put the double back ticks in front of in this exercise, and then after a camel case, you close it with double back ticks. Yeah. So what was your logic there? What are you trying, why are you setting that text aside? Um, because that explains like the text, the techniques that I'm using. Okay. That's what I thought. Good. Okay. So then those are your, good. Okay. Perfect. Got it. I just want to make sure that you were doing that first. So that's sort of your commentary, not your content. Right. Got it. Okay. Excellent. Um, so close, you can close this now. You can X out okay. of it. Uh, you don't need to save it. You can just X out of it. It's just good practice to think of the difference between closing and saving. Mm-hmm. But anyway, and because when you save, it updates the modified date, which you may or may not want to do. Okay. Okay. So now you'd like to make something appear. Is that correct? Yes. So what would you like to make appear where? 
Um, I was thinking in the beginning, um, or even there's parts, um, like say there's parts in my present that are referenced, um, how, how do I say this? There are events that happened in my past that influenced my present and my future and what I'm doing now. So in yeah. the, in the um, past, I'm mean, excuse me, in the present and future ones, I was going to do like a little appear. So I, you know, to reference. Yep. A section from the past. Okay, so let's look at you. So by I think by clicking on the overview, it should give us a link to my past. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, it was right there. It was right there under work. You know, use your links to navigate. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It'll just help you. So go to my past. Mm hmm. And um. That's, so let's open one of those tiddlers. Okay, I'm thinking. Um, that, that has some relevance to your present. There we go. Yep. Okay, so here's where I got lost. So your commentary here. That I have to change because I wasn't using, some of these I didn't use the right way. Okay. Um. Okay, so that just shouldn't be commented, right? You can keep that. Keep the phrase there. Just take out the mm -hmm. comment, the back text. Yeah. Okay, so that's why I was confused. Okay, that's good. So grab the name of that tiddler. Okay. Copy it to your buffer. Do you have a, yeah, do you have a clipboard buffer that you're running? Not that I know of. Okay. Um, have you seen the previous... Um, workshops where we talk about clipboard buffering, clipboard buffers? Yes, I've watched those okay. workshops. It's just when it comes to like some of the terminology on this, I'm not like, this is my first time, I don't know, like using. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I just. Yeah, but you should get yourself a clipboard buffer. Um, so if you open up a new tab in Windows in your browser, search for mm -hmm. clipboard buffer Windows. And um, yeah, download one of those someday, like Clipboard Magic. You don't have to do it right now, but someday, you know, later. Okay. It'll make your life better. So go back to your autobiography and create a new tiddler. And in the text of the tiddler, paste your current tiddler name. In the text, not the title, the text. Yeah, no, not there. Oh, in the text, sorry. Yep. Um, and just call this testing a peer. Okay. Okay. Now down in the text of the tiddler, describe in words what you want to have happen. So go to the very beginning. Mm hmm I think you want, you know, and you can even write, uh, I want this tiddler to appear when I click this button. Right, something like that, right? So we've got an idea of what you're trying to do. Okay. Okay. Um, so that's what your goal is. You want the, and then where it says this tiddler, move mm -hmm. the tiddler to replace this tiddler, Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Wait, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Grab the name of your tiddler. Yep. Yep, grab that name, delete it from there. Okay. Um, um, I don't know if that works. Yeah, I yeah. Okay. Okay, and replace the word this tiddler with that. Okay. There. Okay, so you want that to appear. So how are we going to do that? So now we know what you want. 
Look at the tiddlers you just brought in, probably under recent. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and I guess they come in with my uh, with my dates, not yours. So I probably have to scroll down a bit. Looking for the making things appear and all those yep. things. There it is. Testing, testing way to make stuff appear. That's good. And oh, you dragged in. You have to reset. You have to save your wiki. Okay. How do you usually save your wikis? What the? Like that? Um. Yeah, usually they save automatically, um, and I usually just press the the save button. Okay, so are you in Firefox or Chrome here? I'm in Firefox. Okay, so do a file save as. Yeah, this is... Um, that be that fire tiddly thing that installed? Yeah, that, that's just going to save it. Do a file save as in Firefox. Uh, this is weird. This has never happened before. Usually, well, usually, though, when I edit it, I'm editing it out of, like, from the file from my hard drive. Exactly. So I'm not sure why you open this in, five, in Dropbox. Mm. But anyway, do click on the hamburger there, and it should give us a save file button. And a. Can you put your menus on so you can see the file? Yeah, this is this is unusual. So go to the hamburger, and I think there's an option there, the show menu bar or something like that. Um, stay there for a second. Let me read it. I actually, read the stuff for a second. I'm just. Um, Customize all the way in the lower left. Mm -hmm. uh, customize and um, um, yeah, you want open file. Drag open file into that palette on the mm -hmm. right. Drag that into the palette, yeah, and see if there's a um, there's no save file. Jeez, I don't know. Okay, so I guess you can exit customize. Oh, there's a show high toolbars in the lower left. In the lower, yep. There, okay, yeah. yeah. Show Many. toolbar, there you go. There you go. Okay, so now you can... Exit. Yep, go back to your... There, now you can do a file save as. Save page as. Make sure it's set up as web page HTML only. Mm -hmm. And call it autobiography two. And hit save. There we go. Now open it. File open. That'll work. Okay, now we now we're back to where you're used to, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, okay. And I don't know if do recent. And um, yeah, I'll have to redo that. Oh, I don't know why. Yet. Okay. I'm editing in your Dropbox version. Search for appear. I don't think any of these things stop. No. Yeah. So you have to go. So make it half size again. Okay. Um. There you go. Drag those things over. Just drag all, yep, all of it. Yeah, drag, why are you there to show this now, too? Oh, you already got that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, so let's import. And reload. Okay. Um, so just refresh it? Yeah, refresh it, sorry. 
Um, There's the refresh button right to the left of the search box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. So now go testing away to make stuff appear. It's right there. Yep. Okay. Click. Sh Still not there. Okay, so um, search for appear. Click on the click on. Why? It's save. It's weird. Save this. Mm -hmm. That's very strange. Scroll down to testing away to make stuff appear, and we need to have an undefined widget here. Hmm. Not been a good day here, can we? <laughs> um, split your screen again. Um, oh, yeah. Um, it says look at these, visit source, and follow install instructions. So, visit source. Mm -hmm. Click on install, the last tab, and drag that to your space. You can just okay. drag it. Yep. You don't have to split screen. I was going to show you how to do it. Yep. Okay. You can just drag it up to your, where's your wiki? Your okay. So I need to do the. So drag this. Yep, and just drag it. Yep, there you go. Okay, now for click on title. That doesn't look good. There you go. Click that. That takes you there. Oh, close. Hmm. This works like whenever I do it. It's so annoying when. Um, try it again. So go to the titler on the right. Oh, excuse me. Yep, go to the other window on the right. Mm -hmm. And um, click install, drag to your wiki, save and reload. Drag that link there. Where's okay, it? I'm sorry, my arrow, there we go, my arrow froze for a second. Yeah, not, that, not that one. No, no, you were right there. Drag that, yep, drag that again and let go. And now import, now it worked. Okay, now save and reload. You've already saved, so now reload. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll work. Now make this full size and click on testing stuff, testing to make stuff appear. Okay. Okay, should click on show this now. Okay. And click again. That works now. Okay, so let's look at the source code of. Sh How did you get there? How did you close this? How did you go back to the testing? Mm -hmm. Hitlers. Until you get to testing a way to make stuff appear. There yeah. Click that. Um, Looks like it's just a link. Yeah, that's not right. Close that again. Oh, I know why. Because you're clicking on, click on not on the tiddler, but on the little doodad to the right of the word tiddler. Down, down, down. No, no. See where it says show this now? There's a symbol. Yep. Okay. That's what you want to do. So close, click it again. And then it closes. Yes. So edit the code. Mm hmm And what it does is it first gives you the link to the tiddler, show this now. 
then it opens an appear and it shows you the text field, the thumbnail, and the caption. Okay, so grab just the first two lines. You can grab all of that. It will copy and paste it. Mm -hmm. Not that, um, we were working on draft of new tiddler, I believe. Yep. Yep, and paste it there. And let's get rid of that first line. Mm -hmm. Not the first line, the first phrase, the first link to show this now. So start with appear. Okay. This? Get rid of everything to the left of the carrot. To the, yeah. Yeah, get rid of that. that. Okay. No, everything to the left of that word. Paste that back. Okay, now you want to get rid of the first line. Okay, yep, and now get rid of the, from the third line down to the next to the last line, get rid of all that stuff. There. So, I'll, okay. Get rid of that. So now, we, and so test that over in your preview. In your preview window, no, 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 don't delete anything. In your preview window on the right side. Okay. Right there, yep. You were there a second ago, yep. Click that little button. Mm hmm And that'll show you the text of the tiddler show. Okay. Screen. Okay. So now what the one you wanted to do is Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, right? Mm hmm So grab, the, grab that tiddler down in your list of tiddlers. Right there, yeah, and drag that in. Um, you clicked on it, so you, I just wanted you to, to linger over it and drag it into your new tiddler. Okay. Down, yep, that's fine, okay. And now get rid of show this now. Get rid of show, okay, I see that. Keep the exclamation points. Okay, keep that, yep. Okay, now test this in your, and you able to open and close it in your. Yep, okay. So that was a long, that's what you wanted, right? Yep. Um, and that's calling the text field of this tiddler. Okay. Um, and you can't navigate to the tiddler because you don't include a link to it. Okay, so what I'll probably do is I'll save this as a draft for me to reference with the code. Yep. And then I'll put it in, you know, where it's supposed to go. And then eventually I'll delete this because you're right. There's no tags. There's no nothing linked to this. It's I'll just how to do it. So grab the whole. Yep. You grab all of that, the whole value of that, yep, that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Copy it. Save your tiddler. And let's do a close all. You might want to you might need to save that tiddler too. Okay. And just close all your tiddlers. And you want to go to the overview, right? And you want to navigate to my present. Mm -hmm. And you want to tell me a story about my business. You want to edit this and paste. And now in front of that, right, something like my business benefits from my undergraduate degree. Mm -hmm. Okay. So my time at, yeah, whatever, my time at. Did you get a degree from Fashion, Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising? I transferred and then I got a degree you later, but. Work. I'm just teasing you. So, yeah. So I'm just, um, 
But now, now I can see how this works, how the code works. Yeah, but let me just let me give you a few more tips because this will help us on our video. So just change it to my undergraduate work. At. And if you wanted to build a link to it, you could. If you wanted it to be in, um, or you could just write FIDN, right? Is that what they yep. called it? Yep. Yeah. And, and now save this. And that's what, and then to see if there's a little code after FIDN, so click that. Mm -hmm. And that's what you had in mind? Yep. That's exactly a transclusion. Okay. Um, and to comment this, edit this tiddler one more time. Mm -hmm. You know how to do this, but this is for everyone else. Um, right at the bottom of after the appear, mm -hmm. on a new line, you can open up with the with the two back ticks. Right, I transcluded the tiddler above. Perfect. And close it with two back ticks. Okay. So that's the comments that we're looking to have, right? Yep. And you can even you don't need to have that blank line in appear. You can have it, it doesn't hurt anything. But if you know if it bothers you, you can hit, you can put the appear on its own line. So like right after FIDM, mm -hmm. you can put a return if it makes if you if it makes you okay. Yeah. 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 If you'd rather that, that's fine. I think if you put an extra return in, it will put it on its own line, which you don't want to do. Try that. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to do okay, that. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yep. But that's, you know, that's just up to you how you, yeah, and, and I don't really care so much about that. I care, I want you to be able to get those little bracket things in there. Okay. Okay, I mean, that was it, was just the translusions. Um, everything else about the exercise, I, I understand. Um, so I'll... Thank you so much for helping me. I know it was I know it was really frustrating. No, it's not. It's frustrating. <laughs> for you. It's so frustrating for you. I don't know why, but there's so many variations in people's browsers and all sorts yes. of things. That it just gets challenging. So anyway, but we've got it. So you're all set. Okay. Thank you. I'll yes. And now I. I look forward to seeing it soon. Okay. Excellent. Take care. All right. Thank you. You too. And that's the end of our work.